holder of prophecy. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Casually walk to the front desk without drawing any attention to yourself, or the fate you meet at the hands of the worker will be more torturous than anything imaginable by mere mortals. If you make it to the front desk, in a very level tone, ask the worker to see the holder of prophecy. The worker will respond in a deep, fiery voice, seemingly impossible for a human to create, telling you that the holder you seek has moved. Although the man will be yelling, no one in the lobby will take heed. Do not trust this man. He does not believe you are capable of hearing the words of the prophet. Respond to him in the same level tone as before with, I am ready and willing to bear the weight of his prophecy. At this point, the man will gaze deep into your soul. If you have convinced him, his desk will then fall through the floor, revealing a staircase that seems to be impossibly long. If not, do not bother praying for a swift death, as your prayers will fall on deaf ears. Begin descending the staircase. In front of you, seemingly miles away, will be a bright white light as though it is the end of a long tunnel. Do not look back, because the worker is watching you. Any sign of a faltering resolve and you will traverse this staircase for the rest of eternity. If at any point the light at the end of the staircase seems to draw shut, as if a curtain were being pulled over it, bellow in your loudest, most convincing tone. I am worthy to meet the prophet and hear his prophecy. If the curtain draws back and the light appears, count your blessings, as the prophet has heard you. Otherwise, cast yourself off the stairwell into the oblivion below, and pray that you hit the ground before the creatures that inhabit this hallway can reach you. Once you reach the light, step through it into a new plane of existence, one more serene and beautiful than even the greatest artists have ever dreamed of. You will notice two men down the path from you, prophesizing. One is a giant of a man, surely larger than any you have ever seen. His voice booms with a deafening tone that echoes throughout the entire plane. The other is a meek, fragile old man who can barely move. It is hard to understand him due to what seems to be an advanced case of Parkinson's disease. Approach one of these two men. It is up to you to pick the correct one. The man will only take heed of you to answer one specific question. Why does he want them to come together? If you have chosen incorrectly, the man in front of you will laugh maniacally, in a voice more evil than that of Satan. You will be cast into the oblivion, to be tormented by the legions of hell for the rest of eternity. If you have chosen well, the prophet will lift your head and tell you a horrifying prophecy, one that speaks, in horrifying detail, of his motives in bringing the objects back together. Consider yourself lucky to escape his tale with your sanity. He will then extend his hand to you. If you grab his hand immediately, he will see you as proud, and throw you with inhuman strength into the air, sending you well beyond the reach of any natural atmosphere. You will eternally suffocate and freeze in the pitch-black void of space. If you say, solemnly, I am not worthy, he will grab your hand. 
immediately close your eyes. If you do not, you will wish you had, as, in one instant, you would witness the slaughter of the false prophet and all other false prophets before him. The sight would surely drive you mad. In his hand you will feel a soothing warmth, like that of a warm spa. When you again open your eyes, you will be in bed in the place you call home, with a glove in your hand. The glove is object 218 of 538. Now you know his plan. Will you be able to stop it?